you know, I was thinking about this, um, just the last few days. I had an extreme challenge the last couple of days and and I was thinking about how for the first time in a long time this particular challenge would normally have bothered me extremely I mean really probably would have messed me up for days but this time this challenge was different it was very different because the last couple of years I have been working on the complete understanding that once we were justified by faith that is our standing regardless of where our state vacillates to and from. Because, you know, you we all have those days where we're riding high. You know, it's one I call one of those great days where you wake up, you feel good, you, your hair lays right, you know. Everything seems like it's just in place. And there are other days when you wake up and your bones ache, <laughs> something hurts, your hair won't lay right, you're running late for work even though you got up early, or maybe you got up late, you overslept, you hit the snooze button too many times. Whatever it is, things just aren't going right and aren't going well. You know, you rush it, you think you got just enough time to make it, and there's an accident on the freeway or something. It's always something going on. So you have one of those days there's days that you wrestle more with your flesh than others no matter what our state is our standing in the Lord Jesus Christ remains sure remains firm and so the last couple of days when I was dealing with some mess I wasn't bothered by the affliction in my flesh the way I normally would have been. Or I shouldn't even say normally because it wasn't normal. You see, because the devil is the one who tries to make you feel condemnation and guilt. It's not the Holy Spirit. Guilt, condemnation, and shame are all from the devil. And it took me a long time to learn that. I had the knowledge of it, but having the knowledge of a concept is not the same thing as utilizing it or walking in it. You, you might know how to cook a cheeseburger, but never do it. You might know how to make macaroni and cheese, but never do it. You might know how to bake a cake, but never do it. So once you start literally, I'm not going to even say applying because I'm not applying anything. This has already been done in Christ. There's no application needed. Because that's another misnomer, like we're uh, applying something. No. We're receiving the knowledge of the truth. And once I was able to receive the knowledge of that truth, you are no longer in bondage to sin. Now, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying we don't sin. So first John covers that. People run around saying they don't sin anymore lying. They sin when they said that because they lying. But what happens to you is when you understand that your state, which vacillates from moment to moment, day to day, 
is not your standing, you you will develop the attitude that you have no confidence in the flesh. That your reliance is solely and completely upon the soul sufficiency of the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. To tell us die, paid in full. It was my meditating on that for the last couple of years as to what that meant. And I'll be honest with you, I think it's even more than we've been led to believe, meaning it has more to do with even more than just spiritual things. Remember the Bible says that all things are going to be put under Christ. Even though we don't see all things yet put under him, those things are actually put under him. But there's things that have to play out. There's still things that have been prophesied that have to come to pass. But all things are already under his subjection. And so when we walk in that understanding, when we begin to walk in what has already been done, I told you before, it's already done, been did. What we spend time with is wrestling with our flesh to get the proper understanding to receive what's already been done and is complete. And once you get there, you will have the attitude that you are unstoppable, not because of your strength. Nope, not because of your flesh. Nope, because of what the Lord has already done for you. And this is why I keep stressing that it is so important for us to understand who we are, not will be, who we are in Christ so that we can effectually work against the works of darkness and engage in spiritual warfare. And it isn't until you get the understanding of who you are in the Lord Jesus Christ that you can get to spiritual warfare. Because the devil has to try to get you out of the mindset or the mind of Christ to even begin to bring his weapons against you for them to be effective. And this is why we have all the trappings that he can throw at us in this B system to try to ensnare us in whatever it is he can throw at us. Whatever mindset, no matter how weak or strong against us, if he can get us to believe lies, if he can get us to take our focus off of the Lord Jesus Christ and who we are in him. You know, that's three-fourths of the battle against us because we're defeating ourselves. And this is one of the tricks of the enemy. That's why it's so critical to understand that you must keep your faith and focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you look at the wind, if you look at the storms, if you look at what he's throwing at you and take your eyes off of the one who is our soul sufficiency, you will begin to sink. And I, at first, when I had this particular challenge this week, I started to think, You know, what does all this mean? And I started to wonder, and then I refocused my thoughts. And I said, no, it's all of Christ. No matter what my challenge, my state is not my standing. And I had an experience that was just awesome. 
which is that the devil could not use my challenges against me. He tried to. He threw those accusations. He hurled the, the accusations. And I said, Satan, all my sin is paid for. Your accusation has no merit. And I'm telling you, it was just a peace that came over me. It's absolute peace. And we're supposed to have peace and undisturbed composure in the Lord Jesus Christ. Even with all this old craziness they got going on right now. The devil is still a liar. So, beloved, as we enter the new abnormal, because ain't nothing normal about this mess. Let's keep our eyes fixed and focus on the Lord Jesus Christ and his soul sufficiency, his completed work, his to tell us die. That is our foundation. That is what we are rooted and grounded in. And that never changes no matter what is going on. Be blessed, beloved of the most high God in the mighty name of King Jesus. Amen.